somebody was chatting with me briefly this afternoon in the office and said um, that, 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 that she asked a question in their church and the whole church went bananas. <laughs> Even the pastor, everybody's angry. And I said, what question did you ask? She said she asked the pastor in their church, why is it that of all the religions in the world, we sit down here as Christians and say, anybody that is not a Christian, does not believe in Jesus, will not go to heaven. What about people that grew up in idol worship? What about people that grew up in other religions? And their founders claim that they will take them to heaven. Why is Christianity? Why? Why? Why does Christianity insist that until you receive Christ, you can't go to heaven? What makes it different? That she asked her pastor and the whole church went on strike. Commotion everywhere. I said it's because they don't know the answer. From pastor to children, nobody knows the answer. That's why there is commotion. And I say that answer is a valid answer, question. I mean, that question is a critical and important question that any sound thinking person ought to ask if he doesn't have the answers. Why do I have to believe in Christ? Why not Muhammad? Why not Buddha? Why not Shintoism? Why not African religion? Why not the idols in my village? Why not the other gods that my old parents worship who, who protected them in court and kept them? Why Christ? <laughs> I said, are you ready for the answer? She said, yes. I said, number one, there is no religion on earth whose founder died and rose. None. None in the entire planet. Islam, the founder of Islam wrote in the Quran that jesus will judge the world including him and the founder of islam told his followers he is not sure of where he's going but they should pray for god to have mercy on him and that's why in islam before you call the name muhammad you have to pray that god has mercy on him then you can call his name it's a rule in islam in other religions their founders died and they're in the grave Christianity is the only religion in the entire world where the founder said, I lay down my life and I will pick it up on the third day. And it is historically recorded. Is there in the open historical documents that Jesus actually died? It is historically recorded that he was buried and the tomb where he was buried was the tomb of joseph of arimathea who was a publicly known figure all over israel it's there in, on record that his tomb was used to bury jesus it is on record that soldiers were assigned to guard the grief it is on record that the stone that they used to cover him you need more than 20 people to roll it away so if they stole the body who stole it because first of all you have to roll away the stone and you have to defeat the soldiers remember his disciples couldn't have been the one that attempted to steal because all of them ran away peter the chief of them escaped and said i know him not i'm teaching good i am a hunter. but it's also on record that after the third day his body was not stolen but they saw him all over jerusalem and it's on record that he appeared to 500 people it's on record how do you want to beat that <laughs> it's on record he appeared to over 500 people documented he said i will die and i will rise on the third day he rose and didn't disappear he appeared to people and i have news for you the empty tomb is not the proof the empty grave is not the proof his presence in my life is the proof that he's alive glory to god that is why you need jesus if you don't have him you need him he said he's the only he is the only one who confidently said i am the way I am the truth. I am the life. And he never asked his followers to pray for him. He prayed for his followers. He prayed for his followers. And he told his followers, I am going. When I go, I will come. He went and came. That where I am, you may be. 
and we are where he is glory to our god somebody said to me in the, from the islamic religion he said but jesus said i will send you another comforter he said that another comforter is muhammad you know christianity is older than islam islam came after christianity so they now say that when jesus in john 16 says i will send you another comforter that what jesus was announcing was that muhammad is coming so i said to them well good and fine let's look at it again i will send you another comforter who shall abide in you is muhammad in you no so it can't be muhammad he was talking about he's talking about the spirit that should abide in you muhammad is not you he's in the grave another comforter who shall be in you allos paracletos another of the same teaching good i love jesus Woo! i love jesus i said i love jesus where is he two thousand years after after 40 days when he rose from the dead he was all over the place teaching are you aware of the persecution of the disciples why were they persecuting the disciples if truly he was in the grave and never came out why will what the disciples why was it that what they were saying was so powerful that they were persecuted for a man that is still in the grave they beat them and told them never talk in the name of that man why was the name of the man a threat why was it that the jews in jerusalem why were they fighting to shut the gospel down because they knew the power that was in it they knew that what they had was an empty grave they knew that when they opened the, the grave they didn't see anything in it the man rose like he promised glory to god i'm teaching you tonight now observe this observe this observe this <clears throat> everything that jesus rose from the dead to accomplish has become ours everything and how do we know it has become ours he has given us his spirit his spirit lives in our hearts we have proof of his spirit in our hearts his death was free his burial was free his resurrection has been given to us free so everything that jesus gave us as a result of his death burial and resurrection is free just as his death is free <laughs> 